It's Nancy from Over the Hill Farmstead. Today we're going to pressure can kidney beans. And I've never done this before. It's the first time. I've only pressure canned a couple of times. So I'm a newbie. So first what we had to do is we soaked these beans overnight in cold water. I left them on the counter. And then this morning I drained that water out, put fresh water, and then we had to boil them for 30 minutes. So now we're ready to put them in the jars and get them in the pressure canner. So, my funnel. So what we need to do is we need to fill them with an inch headspace. So, let's see. I get this in here. And I'm going to get my little debubbler tool. Get this. So an inch of headspace is right around, right around, I don't know if you can see, but right below the where you screw the lid on. Right about there. Okay. So I could put a little uh, put a little, little liquid in there to bring that up. Right about there. You don't want to overfill the jars because in the uh, pressure canning, you know, they might siphon out if they're too full. So, all right, so that looks good to me. And then take a damp paper towel, I'm gonna wipe the rim, make sure there's nothing on the rim that would stop it from sealing, because we wanna make sure we get it sealed. And then we're gonna put the lid on, which I wash, and the ring, just finger tight. I'm gonna put that one in the canner. Just going to do a few at a time. I have this, um, it's already been, the canner's already warm. The water has been warm. Actually, I don't think I'm going to turn that burner on just low. We just want to keep the water hot in there. I don't know how long this process is going to take, so we have to get our rhythm down here. So let's do, let's do that. Sometimes when you debubble it, you end up with more space because it gets the air bubbles out. But you want to do that. You want to get the air bubbles out. Right about there. That's good. So I did about three and a quarter pounds of dry beans, and that's supposed to do nine pints. And I'm not putting any salt in these. I figure we can salt them when we're ready to use them. So the better... Is that jar hot right now? Yeah, it's hot. Okay. It's hot. I mean, it's not too hot. I could pick it up, but... Just I'm trying to be safe. Um, so we'll see if it works out that way. At first, when I was looking at it, I'm like, really? Only that many beans? But, you know, you don't realize how much water they absorb. Because they are dry to start with. We go through a lot of canned beans, and I would just as soon do it myself. And to buy dry beans, they're pretty inexpensive. So, and the other reason, you know, if you buy canned beans, then you have to dispose of the can. If you do it yourself, you know, we, re place. we reuse the jars. The glass jars last a long time, you know, if you take good care of them. So. Why contribute to the waste when you don't have to? This way I have kidney beans on the shelf. Hey, you don't go on. There we go. Didn't want to go on. And then if this works out good, we'll do black beans and Greg's favorite, chickpeas. <sighs> you don't mind them so much. Not anymore. Well, we mix them with other things. I could eat chickpeas, chickpeas right out of the can, but... Yuck. <laughs> Greg, not so much. It's one of the few <laughs> things I don't like. <laughs> but you like if I make hummus. Yes, I or do. Or if, if I mix them yes. like in soup with other... Well, when you got them as a kid, 
who are canned and they tasted horrible. There's things you just taste you can't get rid of. Yeah, I know the feeling. I have a few of those. And my family doesn't watch the videos, so they'll never see this. <laughs> All right. Get this cover on. So you want to do, when you're doing a hot pack, you want to do hot jars, hot, hot product, and a hot canner. This way, less risk of the jars breaking from the drastic change in temperature. Water's hot. So it's three quarts of water in the bottom of the canner, and that's all you have to use when you pressure can. Okay, get these out. these. I had when I grabbed the jars, I grabbed some wide mouth jars, which is the ones I just did, and then these are the regular size canning jars. We bought all these canning jars, a whole car full of them. Yeah, we did. Holy accessories and everything from this woman for like 150 bucks. All yeah, brand actually new. This, um, this canner came from that. This, that's what I thought yeah. it was. I didn't, yep. wasn't sure. Yeah. My fingers are here. That's hot. Okay. Now we can do these five and see how we're doing. Looks like there's still a lot of beans in there. What are you barking at, Miss Bella? I want to have some liquid in there. It's about the same with these jars. That's about an inch right there. And we'll just debubble. And they're gonna they're gonna finish cooking in the jar. So the other benefit of this is that. You know, these will be ready to eat right out of the jar. You know, and they're shelf stable. So, move this over. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Put this on. This is in my way. We're just gonna do finger tight, not too tight. Because now I lost my. Oh, there, my jar lifter. <clears throat> this has two layers in it, I think you said, right? In the pressure can? So you can, um, yeah, you can. I don't have another rack for it, so I'd have to see if the rack in my other pressure canner would fit, which I think it might. And then you could do, if you use these jar, this, the regular canning jars, you could actually do 10 in each row and do 20. 20 jars at a time per More canner. Cost of fish, fish. Oh, definitely, yeah. Definitely. Much better. They if you could do that way. Yeah, they smell good. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna put too many in there. Well, maybe not. Put a little bit more liquid in there. And then we'll see if we can debubble. And sometimes you see the bubbles. Wipe our rim. Don't forget to do that. And the other reason to wipe the rim too, it's like a second opportunity to check for um, any chips, chips or cracks in the... I mean, I checked it when I was washing the jars, but just another way of double checking. Make sure you don't have any cracks or anything in the rim because then it won't, it won't seal. And there's nothing worse than going through all this work and not having the jar seal. You're gonna have some extra. I am. <clears throat> That's all right, they won't go to waste. I'm not in this house. I'll we'll do something with them. Maybe have a little bit more liquid in there. So this is my first time canning beans. Um, 
in the pressure canner. I mean, you have to you have to can beans in the pressure canner because it's a low acid food, and it's the only safe way of doing it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <coughs> I have to go back and check. No, oh, that's right. There's two left. I thought I had. Didn't have enough lids, but I do. How do you like your new stove? I love my new stove. Works great. Helps heat the house up too, which is nice. You know, it's on a cold day. It's only 20 degrees today, I think. High of 20 or something. Well, some people can the beans dry. And I, because I've never done it before, I didn't want to try that way. Um, just to, missed a couple steps like they don't even soak them so I'm not really sure how that works but I wanted to do it sort of the the way that uh, you know it's recommended so okay one more jar Because it's just the two of us, I figured it was better to do it in pint jars. You could also do it in quart jars. It would just take longer processing. Once the canner gets up to the right pressure, which will be 11 pounds of pressure for our altitude, um, then we have to we have to can it for 75 minutes for pints. What's your altitude here? We're, I think we're right about a thousand. Feet, but the 11 pounds of pressure is for up to 2,000 feet so and you have to check because everything is could be different so you have to know what your altitude is find the other rack and go ahead and do the rest. So let's I take would. let's take a break. Okay. Okay, so I found the other rack that went in my other Presto canner. So we can do a second second row and fill four more jars. How many is in there now? Thirteen. Nine on the bottom and four on the top. Good. Okay. So what we need to do now, so this is a 23 quart Presto canner need to line up, there's a little arrow there and there's an arrow on the handle. Just gotta line those two up. Yeah, you gotta get it in the right spot. I told you I haven't done this much. So they're lined up and then we're just gonna push it so that the handles lock together. Okay. And then we're gonna turn the burner on high. And we have to wait now for the steam to escape from the steam vent. It has to it has to vent for 10 minutes. And then we'll watch the, this is the gauge, and we need to get up to 11 pounds of pressure and hold it there for 75 minutes. So we'll be back.
So this is what we ended up canning when we canned the beans. So we started out thinking we were just going to can kidney beans. And these are all the kidney beans. So we ended up with 13 jars and realized we had more room in the canner. So we did five jars of black beans. So how we did the black beans was we did it the dry method. So uh, just put a half a cup of beans in the jar, filled it up with hot water, and put it in the canner. I think some of these siphoned a little bit, but they are all, they're all sealed. All the jars seem to have sealed. We're leaving the rings on for probably another six hours or so, and then we'll take the rings off. You don't want to store your jars with this with the ring on. Um, it's just it's just better to not store it that way because then if if the seal does break and the ring is on, you might think it's a um, it'll be a false seal. But if you have the ring off, then you'll know if the um, if the jar the seal has failed. So the next uh, next project after we clean these jars up and get them ready to put them in uh, storage is where we're going to put them. Oh, and the other thing too, I almost forgot to mention. So these beautiful black beans in these jars, we grew them at our old property. And I had stored them dry for a couple years. So now we're going to get to eat them. And they'll be shelf stable. And ready to eat and ready to use. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.